It's honestly surprising how MLG videos are almost forgotten at this point, considering the fact that they were a big, or maybe not so big, step and remix culture on the internet. At one point, you couldn't use YouTube without watching at least one MLG video made by some kid who just pirated Sony Vegas. But how did this all start? How did we get from one of the biggest genres of remix videos on YouTube to MLG videos being thrown into obscurity and having no one talk about it as much as they talk about other old fads? Well, since no one else will do it, I'll take you through the history of montage parodies. Now, to know about MLG videos, you have to first know about MLG as a whole. Basically, Major League Gaming was one of the first esports organizations in the United States, starting out with their Halo 2 Pro series being broadcasted on national TV. But MLG started to become more popular on the internet when in 2014, the Call of Duty Pro League started. The event was nothing special, as it was another Call of Duty gaming event, but the internet noticed it and enjoyed it and this inevitably caused some people to mock MLG. This was because, at the time, gaming was still this concept that only fat losers who live in their mother's basement or young kids could find enjoyment of. And since the thing the internet does best is mock people, this eventually led to the creation of the montage parody. And this is where our story truly begins. Now, montage parodies weren't a new thing once they start to become popular. In fact, one of the earliest montage parodies was made all the way back in 2011. The video itself was nothing special. All it was was a screen recording of World of Warcraft gameplay with some green screens thrown over it and some loud dubstep music playing in the background. But this video was revolutionary. The video first started to gain popularity when some YouTubers made videos where they turned somewhat unnotable games such as Woodcutter Simulator and Train Simulator into bizarre and wacky videos. These were able to score views in the hundred thousands and even in the millions. As montage videos started to spread, many common tropes and jokes were established, the most notable of which being the memes thrown in the videos. I'm sure many of you can remember such memes as Snoop Dogg, Sample Text, 360 No Scope, The Illuminati, and of course, 420. Another common trope was the choice of music. Montage parodies often use loud types of music such as dubstep and trap. However, other common songs used in the videos were the X-Files theme, that are known as the Illuminati theme, the Inception theme, and who could forget? Of course, as time went by, many more jokes became a staple of montage parodies. However, many of these later jokes started out as their own thing and were later absorbed into the MLG family of memes. Big examples include Sanic, Lenny, Doge, and Shrek. Making these memes be part of MLG as a whole made sense. MLG memes were basically an early version of dank memes, seeing as how both have a similar insane and nonsensical vibe to them. As of now, MLG memes were just starting to take off, but it didn't take too long until montage parodies reached their peak. Now, at this point, MLG videos were not just parodying video game culture anymore, but were now starting to parody internet culture as a whole. Starting in 2014-15, many MLG videos during this time were parodies of TV shows and movies. These videos started to become massive on YouTube. Who could forget such classics as MLG Arthur, the entire Sid the MLG Kids saga, Diary of an MLG No Scober, MLG Teletubbies, and the many, many many more. These videos were starting to gather thousands, some even getting millions of views, and there were starting to be some popular names amongst the community, the ones I remember being Materialissimo and Cheeky Chaps. 
MLGs continue to reign supreme on YouTube for the next two years and would still gain views throughout this time. Even I joined on the trend during 2017. However, when 2017 started to end, so did the genre of MLG videos. When 2017 ended and 2018 started, MLGs basically became irrelevant almost instantly. You didn't see MLG videos anymore on the front page. The YouTubers who could gain millions of views making these videos started to become less and less popular. Montage parodies could now be classified as a dead meme. But how did this happen? What caused MLG to go out of fashion? Well, if you ask me, I think it's because MLGs were starting to become unfunny and stale. If you were to compare an MLG video made in 2015 to one made in 2017, there is basically no difference between them. MLGs were at their peak during this time, and since so many people made them, they all felt like a duplicate of a duplicate of a duplicate. Another reason I think MLG videos went out of style was because during 2015 to 2017, YouTube was going through an edgy phase, if that makes sense. During this time, YouTubers like Filthy Frank, iDubs, How to Basic, and many others were big names in the YouTube community, and this was because of their different styles of making videos that no one had seen before in years. These videos were more vulgar and out there than anyone else during that time. However, ever since 2018, that phase of YouTube started to sizzle out of existence, and YouTube went back to its corporate feel as it used to be. Honestly, I'm surprised people didn't think that this meme would become dead. And while MLG videos are still being made, they're obviously getting a small amount of attention. So it's safe to say that they probably won't come back. Anyways, this is the best YTP here, signing off.